with Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. No, that must have felt really, really good. Just talk about not just the win, but for you personally, kind of your journey the last month and a half here going through the injury again and, and kind of what that's been like. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, like, went through injury my first two years and, and dealt with um, just the struggles of that. And then first kind of part of the season, I was just still dealing with it and still struggling with it. And I had, like, the thoughts of, like, am I ever going to play, like, you know, like the way I, the way I'm supposed to and the way I know I can. And then today I was like, I just, I want to come out and just show what I can, show what I can do to get a win. And my teammates around me, my teammates just gave me great passes tonight and they encouraged me and did everything they could to, to, to allow me to, you know, play my, play my best game. Ryan Thorburn, register guard. The donut, their uh, post player came out in the third quarter and had, I think three baskets and then you kind of answered her and had a block was how big was that sequence just to answer them right there and, and not let it get away from you. Um, that was crucial. She's, she's an incredible post player. And so, you know, we scouted her really, really well. And we knew that, you know, she can go off at any moment in the game and she can really be this, be the difference. And so I just decided, I was like, this isn't going to like, you know, it's not gonna be my fault that my player scores like 10 points in a row. Like I just can't let that happen. And so I got that block and it went off on her. And um, yeah, I mean, I just got so pumped and I was like, you know, like, let's go. Like, and that was kind of like the momentum change for me. And, and, you know, I got, you know, I got really excited. So. <laughs> uh, James Creppy of the Oregonian. <clears throat> so, how much of a challenge has it been for you just mentally, even early on in this game where you're talking about your concerns naturally after the injuries, but in the first quarter, when this team was lacking intensity, you were the one diving for loose balls. You were the one bringing the intensity in the first 10 minutes. So how do you balance wanting to do that? But you're just talking about also questioning like your own ability because of the injury um, to, to want to go out there and do it. And clearly you did. Yeah, I think um, the thing that is hard to learn when you get such a big injury is like coming out and playing like you don't have an injury. You know, like if you favor it and stuff, there's a higher chance of you getting hurt again. And so I've really had to like work with my trainers and, and strength coaches and stuff to be like, you know, I trust both of my legs equally. And so, and also like, I mean, I wanted this win really, really badly. My team wanted this win really badly. And, you know, it wasn't looking too good in the first quarter. So I was just like, I'm gonna die for every loose ball and, and try to do, do everything I can to, to help our team. Dylan Rubin King. KWVA. And speaking of that, that first quarter, what do you think would, was the message that kind of like helped the, the flip switch? Um, was, was there like a message in the, in the huddle after that first quarter? Um, yeah, I think we just knew that it was a test. And every team you play is a test, of course, but this team is just strong in the fact that they never give up. And they're going to fight us from – the first second to the last second, like they did. And so we just kind of got down and, and we, you know, sat in the huddle and we we're all like, come on guys. Like we got this. It's okay. Like let's relax. And, and we looked pretty, pretty just like flustered in the first half. And so coming out and saying, let's calm down, let's get in a routine. Let's, let's do what we can do and, and get into a good offense was kind of the, the message that we tried to, you know, portray. And the last one to wrap it up with Eric Scopel. So, don't know, it was, so was it just an ankle, not to minimize, but was it an ankle injury you're dealing with and kind of what were what were the difficulties of, of working through that? Because I know you, you've played for a stretch and had to sit out I and mean, kind of walk us through what that journey and that kind of that time was like for you. Yeah, so I sprained my ankle um, early in the season and I had been dealing with like some leg pain at that point, but, and this is like in my broken leg um, that I've been dealing with my first two years. Um, and so that ankle frustrated me and I was like, God, and, and you know, I was like, I was pretty, just pretty down at that point. And so I, um, I worked as hard as I possibly could because we had the OSU game coming up. And so I worked as hard as I possibly could to get back for that. And it turns out that like my leg hadn't been quite healed yet. And my fibula had been hurting a lot and I'm having like a lot of muscle spasms constantly. And so I got to a point where I was like not playing basketball um, and thinking about basketball. I was playing basketball and thinking about my leg and my pain. And so it was affecting my confidence. And in some of the games, I was like, I just don't feel like my best. I don't feel, you know, I was limping and I was like, I just don't feel like the player that I am. And so we worked really, really hard to just calm down. Um, I lifted almost every single day um, extra if I had to, to try to make my legs stronger again. And so now I'm at the point where I'm strong. I've gone about a week through practice. I've gone only a week of practice so under my belt after going three weeks off. So I was really, you know, really lucky that my teammates 
helped me step up. And, and I mean, I'm glad that I have no more leg pain. So. Thank you, Sedona. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.